Ayatollah Khamenei's new fatwa. Fake likes and follows are banned. You know, I love to cover a good fatwa. And so we're, that's how we're starting off this week. <laughs> Recently, oh Ali Khamenei, Iran's current supreme leader, issued a fatwa against quote unquote fake likes and follows followers on social media. His decision came after his followers posed questions at him through his website, where he often issues religious rulings. When asked what his ruling is on fake likes and followers on social media platforms, he said, quote, it is not allowed if it is fake and made up. Shia Muslims are now explicitly banned from buying and selling online likes and followers, although, quote, bona fide ones, meaning authentic engagement, remains permissible. Ironically, according to Facebook's parent company, Meta, fake accounts based in Iran that posed as Scottish and British locals who supported Scottish independence were removed earlier this year for inauthentic behavior. Ben uh, Nemo, global threat intelligence lead for influence operations for Meta, said they have, quote, seen a range of operations coming from Iran over the last few years. Yeah, I don't know how this works because he's saying fake likes and follows are not allowed, but Iran's intelligence agencies have a lot of operations, um, you know, with a lot of fake accounts. So it, it, we have had Iranian um, intelligence officers on camera on Iranian TV and other places, social media, uh, bragging about the fact that they had accounts um pretending to be the opposition like the people who are against the regime and they were bragging about the amount of likes that they were getting the fact that they were being they were so convincing that even some of the um main people in the opposition some of the really you know um some of the bigger players or some of the uh, active users on the opposition of people anti -Islam, the islamic republic people followed them they were like look how good we are our fake accounts are being followed by genuine people and they were bragging about that so i don't know um wouldn't that like be against the orders of Khamenei because he's like anti fake likes and follows like okay, would they well, continue the be able, will they continue doing these operations we go on <laughs> It's about buying and selling fake likes and follows. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, creating completely false accounts and identities. That's kind of different, okay. right? <laughs> okay, okay. That actually is consistent. Okay, as much as ridiculous as this is, their logic might actually be consistent because the supreme leader before this guy, Khomeini, he specifically said spying is not necessarily, spying is not bad. Spying is good if it's done against the enemies of the of an islamic regime right so maybe if you create fake accounts likes and follows and accounts for the sake of attacking the enemy or like doing spy operations or figuring out who the opposition is and like invest you know basically th for that then that's allowed because that's like intelligence operations against the enemy but if you're making fake accounts and likes and follows for commercial purposes maybe he's against that specifically what do you think seemingly so let me give you a little bit more context this comes from um iranwire.com in an mm. answer to, um so hamane decreed if it is real it is not inherently wrong in cases when nothing corrupt is involved but it is not mm. allowed if it is fake and made up the supreme leader then expressly banned shia followers from buying and selling online likes and follows some bona fide ones remain permissible but the subjective and highly flexible nature of the term corrupt in persian left doubt in others per this is fantastic okay this is as vague as the quran right so basically <laughs> the quran you know the quran this is how you get away with things you make it seem like you're very clear about something but then you use words that people could interpret in so many different ways right so for example the quran says you need to crucify the people who are spreading corruption on earth right like okay well where can you define corruption please because this is very dangerous for the quran to just put that out there like crucify people who are spreading corruption like this could be used by anybody to mean anything right so i guess yeah you're right like they are just like oh it's if it's corrupt it's bad like oh wow thank you so much for the clarity there corruption bad 
Thank you, Khamenei. I mean, technically, this is not, not, not nothing new. It's like saying, like, fake is bad if it's being used for something bad, but if it's being used for something good, then it's good. So bad is bad, good is good. Okay, great job. Thank you. We needed that, Khamenei. Um, so essential. Your commentary is helpful, very helpful. Thank you. Um, so one thing I also thought was funny is that in this, you know, ruling that he issued online, um, he, so he had this question about, you know, the fake likes and follows, and then this is just like so on point. So elsewhere, Hamane was asked a legal question about whether women could herself include a clause in a marriage contract allowing them to divorce their husbands if the man in question took another wife. Hamane expressly rejected this. Wait, say, say it again. So say it's again. saying if, if, if when entering into a marriage, there's a prenuptial part of the contract that says that a woman is allowed to issue divorce if the husband takes another wife. So is this form yeah. of a prenuptial contract permissible? Um, and he expressly rejected this quote, giving the woman the right of divorce is invalid. He said, unless the woman is granted the power by the husband so that if he marries again, she can be grant be granted a divorce on his behalf. In such case, it is invalid. How many uh, oh wait, so yeah, yeah, that was it. So I was like, okay, well that's on point. Wait, just just a reminder that we are monetized now on YouTube. And Secular Sekai just gave reminded everybody by giving us a two dollar super chat, while at the same time giving five dollars to our GoFundMe campaign, which is linked in the description for people who don't know what our GoFundMe campaign is. We have um, a lot of Hindutva lawyers coming after us. The Indian court is after us. Um, oh, we're going to be diving into that at the end of the show. Yeah. So, yeah, but we are trying to constantly defend ourselves against all these legal attacks. And that's why we have a legal fund. And Secular Sekai just used his super chat to tell us that he donated $5 to our uh, GoFundMe campaign. Link to our GoFundMe legal campaign um, is in the description. Thank you so much Thank for that. Thank you, Sekai. Support. That's so generous. I actually yeah. found the copy of the fatwa online. I just sent oh, it you to did? you on... I can't share it because my computer sharing screen is like messed up, but I sent it to you on Facebook if we want to take a look at what a, what a fatwa looks like. Oh, wow. Okay. This is an official fatwa. Like this is not, um, Apparently, something... okay. Hold on. Let me, right at the top. Me... It says, you know, from leader dot <laughs> IR. Wow. Okay. This is I, obviously I can't read any of it. So I'm very curious about, you know, maybe you can give us a very brief summary. It's not even letting me. Oh, here, download. <laughs> Do you say yes? Please share. This is okay. this was my first time looking at at a fatwa. A, at a fatwa. Okay, got it. It's a PDF, so that's why I thought I was confused. Here, devout atheist uh, Sean is saying, "Oh, damn, y'all getting sued? Not exactly sued." It's a long story, so make sure to stay tuned to the end because yes. we have a lot to unpack. Okay. Here's the fatwa. All right. So this is what the fatwa looks like in the modern days. <laughs> is this actually a fatwa? Hold on. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, okay. Daftar Maqam Ma'azam Rahwari. So this is it says the office of the supreme leader. Kham, Sayyid Ali Khamenei. Oh my God! Look how seriously they take them, themselves. They 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 put Khamenei's name in the same way that they show like the the names of the twelve Imams and stuff. And oh they my have God. something, it's like some sort of a blessing at the end of it, kind of like you have at the end of the name of Imams or the Prophet. Like these people oh are taking God. themselves so seriously. The this shirk is, of it all. By the way, the design of this is so basic. Like, do they not have a Canva? <laughs> like, does a supreme leader not have a Canva account? Like, or a for, like, ser seriously, like, mm -hmm, I could do mm -hmm. hire me, Khamenei. I could do better. Yeah, we need to it. make the fatwas look a little bit more, you know, sexy. <laughs> Give them a okay. facelift. It, it doesn't say fatwa anywhere. It just says, like, question one and a then ruling. And th no, no, it's just question one. And they, oh, and the one is in English rather than in Persian. So that's like haram, I guess. Um, and then there's the question and here's the answer. And then you have the question two and the answer. See, 
Why is that? Why are the numbers in English rather than Persian? This is this is not good. All right. <laughs> I've never seen anything so like if I if I provided a report like this back in university in Iran, um, this would be like I don't know. This is so basic. Like, come on, guys! Like, put some effort into making this look good. Like, you're the supreme. Armin, give it a grade. Would you? What would what, what would you rate this? Like a like a C, C minus. For design wise, or like. Or would answer, you just give it a failing? Just an F. Yeah, I would just give it a failing. Obviously. Damn. Yeah. You heard that, Hellman? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what is this? I mean, you're this, like, you act like this. You're the God's representative on, on Earth, and you can't even like make this look a little bit more. I don't know. It just looks so basic. Not even effort. Like the <laughs> zero effort. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any Man, other... calling the supreme leader basic? Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bread of Life is saying Armin is going to get a fatwa out on him for that comment. It's interesting how ever since Khomeini used a fatwa against Salman Rushdie, people associate fatwas with, like, it's good. I like it that people think, fa like, associate fatwa with just, like, um, death. <laughs> A design, yeah, <laughs> death. <laughs> because fat fats could be anything. You could have a fat fat on how to wipe your butt in the toilet, right? You could have a yeah. fat fat on anything. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> by the way, music guy says my elementary school certificate looks more professional than that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, the gosh! Formatting <laughs> sucks. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.